How you doing everybody? Bear Man here. Welcome back to some more Planet Crafter. Last time we made all these amazing auto crafters and got lots of stuff done. We have our tier three ore extractors all over the place and we've just moved into the fish stage. Cool. Now, what do we have to do today? We've got a ton of things to do. Look at all the stuff we have to do. We've got butterfly farms. We've not made those. We've got life water collectors. We've not made those. We gotta make a T1 aquarium and amphibian farms. We've got lots to do. Now, in our auto crafter scheme, we have the basic mutagen and we've got mutagen T3. Now, we still cannot craft mutagen T2. However, we can craft mutagen T4. So, boom, let's see. Does it work? Do we have all the things? Are we good? Boom, look at that. So, when the time comes, we'll have all those. Disappointing on that one. Right, what should we do first? We need silk. Oh, <laughs> how convenient is that, right? Because what do we need silk for? We need silk for life water collector. We need two chicken nuggets here. Let's grab two of these chicken nuggets. Boom. What else do we need? We need a super alloy. Guess what? We've got an absolute ton of super alloy right there. Boom. Right. So we have everything to go collect life from the water. Where shall we collect life from? Can we collect it from here? Now, I do think it matters somewhat where we put these collectors but i'm gonna be super lazy and go put it in the big giant lake i suspect 99.99 percent of everybody is probably gonna put their very first one here so i'm just gonna be a sheep and follow along which is not my strong point but i might as well and since we got this nice really cool deck already laid out Let's put this baby right here. Make it easier to collect things. Look at that. Right there. And if we open it, you can see it's collecting phy phytoplankton A. It'll collect others. Don't even worry about it. I'm not worried about it. Good. Right. Now, while we're collecting water, we... Water. We're not collecting water. Well, we are collecting water, but we're trying to collect life out of the water. While we're doing that... I want to get some butterfly farms up and running and that requires some more chicken nuggets and zero light and t2 so let's head back to our base gather everything and then i will go out to our little food farm which i believe is over there and set up two more butterfly farms to get ourselves rocking and rolling on that category Okay, here we go. We've got the old butterfly farm. I forgot we had the old butterfly farm. So we can just kind of kill that off. Let's put on... You know what? This whole thing is a mistake. I already had these butterfly farms. Wow. Okay, so if you watch this part of the video, just forget everything you saw and pretend I didn't make that mistake. Because bees are landing on my screen. Well, that was pretty freaky. All right, well, that was done. Look at the great advancement we just did there. That's amazing. Right. Well, since we're making things, let's go make an aquarium in preparation of the whole new life that we're going to find. And then see if we can make an amphibian farm as well, which we should put out here, which means I need more iron to bring with me. And we got to see if we can find, locate some frog eggs somewhere around. Now, frog eggs aren't that difficult to find, but they are in a variety of little puddles. Let's go back to our home. Now, remember that there were some puddles. See that puddle right over there? Let's go take a look. Now, not all of them have frog egg things in it, but this one does. Look at that. Amazing. Almost like I planned it. Okay, good. So, generic. That's what we want. Thank you, Mr. Generic Frog. Good. We've got frog eggs in preparation. But before we do that, what did I want to do? Don't get lost. We need an oxygen super alloy and that, and we need two of those. So let's go get all those things gathered, ready to put in place. Got to decide where I'm going to put the fish farms. Hmm. 
I might want to make a fish location all on its own. So let's start with the amphibians. That's what I say. So that way we are ready and I don't have to make any decisions, but I do need some of these things. So we're going to make, I'm going to try two fish farms for now and then see where that goes. Right, we literally cannot make any frogs yet. We can make fish. We cannot make frogs. We're not on that list yet. It's okay. Keep prepping anyway, because it's what we got to do. All right, I got everything I need to put stuff down for our frog farm. Look at that. Stuff sticks to the screen. That's pretty cool. So our two froggy farms, where are we? Froggy farm, where are you? Oh! That's the other thing we got to do. We've now got a portal generator. I don't remember it requiring an energy multiplier fuse. However, we have them. Pretty cool. So we'll be able to do that. And that means we are going to start exploring some of the procedural wrecks. Right. So that is definitely something we're going to do today. All right. All right. Distraction. Uh, what was I doing? I was doing this. I'm actually doing this this time. Oh. These things go on the ground only. Oh, so typical. So, so typical. Right. Okay. Rethink. Rethink quickly. Oh, yeah. Perfect. It's uh, like I made it. I planned it to put it here. You know what I mean? Of course I did. Right. Uh, fish fro frog. Fish fro bleh, frog farming. One goes here. And frog farming. Uh, right. That wasn't prepared. All right, let's put one of these down as well. Boom. And then one of these amphibians. Boom. And we can't shove any amphibians in there. We have generic frog eggs. Does that do anything? Oh, it gives us generic frogs. Oh, well, that's all right. Let's see if we can find another set of generic frog eggs. Wow, finally. Oh, it's quite close too. Didn't realize it. Okay, thank you, Mr. Generic Frog. I'll take your eggs. Don't tell anybody. And I'm going to go put them over here. And we are going to have generic frogs. Thank you, Mr. Generic Frog. Ooh, we can make a new kind of fish. Not that I can fish. Okay, cool. Well, speaking of fish, let's get uh, this recipe off. We need to build somewhere. We need to figure out where I want to put all my fish. Can't put fish here. We got to build kind of a fishy place. And... In order to do so, we should build a big living compartment. That's right. Oh, you know what? Let's go check out our rocket space. Because if I remember correctly, there is a particular kind of in thing that I can buy, which is a round one, maybe made of glass or has glass. Before we do that, I need to get the stuff I need to sell and go out there. Oh, look at that. We can do hooli frogs now. Well, things are rolling in thick and fast. Okay, save these two energy multipliers. I'm going to sell all that. Um, I've got lots of stuff in here I don't need at the moment. I'm just going to plant it all right here in the most disorganized fashion possible. But that should work. And let me head out to my rocket uh, space trading place. See, see what we can do about selling these things and buying some place that we can call our little fish farm. There you go. Look at that. Living compartment with dome. 25,000 Terra tokens. That, oh, more fish eggs. Wow, we are flying on the fish eggs. I will take that dome. Thank you very much. Don't launch yet because I need... See, there is a rounded living compartment and then this one. Um, they, they're both good. Oh, I wonder if you can put one on top of the other. Wouldn't that be cool? Are they the same shape? That would be so cool if it does work that way. Oh, right. Well, we'll have to try that towards the end, but we, we don't have enough for that. We will have it soon because we've got procedural wrecks. Before we do that, let's uh, shove these things in there. Thank you, because that is, um, they are 5,000 each. Don't need them. And that means that we are currently 35,000 and we're buying something worth 25,000. So we're actually going to make 10,000 on top of that. That's pretty cool. All right, you get out of here. Uh, go. Okay, time to check on our Lake, L Lake 
this life sucker thing here. All right, so we got A, we got B, I told you, and you got C. You get them all. Special eggs might appear, depending on where you do it, but this whole phyto, phytoplankton A, B, and C will come from anywhere. Okay. Ooh, look at that guy, he's just hanging out. Right, let's head back home and figure out exactly what our recipe looks like for making these fishes 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 fish fish and that will tell us all the stuff we might need it is no they are made here so we can make hooli frogs oh look at that see we're already ahead of the game now that egg is uh that's a 200 that's a 250 that's a 300 see that requires t2 we don't have t2 thank you very much silly game but we can make frog eggs so if i get to oh, why is it so loud something's coming down does this game not know i was doing something look at all that right i'll bring you back when that's done because i can't think all right well that was quite noisy but let's go grab our generic fresh fresh frogs frog eggs take them back with us we have t4 mutagen tons of it thanks for getting set up i forgot to pull these mushrooms back so that's why we weren't making very many chicken nuggets but hopefully that will be fixed now let's run upstairs and take a look at our is it hooli eggs what is it hooli frog eggs yes okay let's shove that one in there and that one in there Hit the research button and see what we come up with. There you go. That's your Huli Huli egg, Huli frog, in there. Let's grab him, right, and let's make another one. And then we can go out and put them down somewhere. Pretty cool. So that guy transforms into the other thing. All right, let's stick these froggos in the new frog places. Boom! There they are. Look at them. They're lovely love it next one go on take that boom awesome where are you there you are right we've got froggos good froggos all over the place now the next thing i'm worried about is we are doing insects that one's a 1200 percent so 900 nothing's really moving we could really use with some more insect stuff I might actually create two more of these butterfly things and put them down because we need to start pushing that up. We also need to, that looks ugly, um, get, go see if our rocket trade space, trade thing come, has come back and if we can now go build the area for our fish farm. So let's head over to our trade rocket see what's happened and then we'll make a decision where are we going to put that Oop, there you go that must be mean it's it, ugh, that must mean it's on its way oh, six seconds away it's coming back oh there it is and then what we will have is a new blueprint to make a very special habitat and we'll build some a couple of fish things inside it Definitely got to make some more of these uh, um, butterfly farms and get ourselves up and running. Okay, good job landing and coming back, mister. All right, let's grab what you have. Boom, let's head back home to unlock that recipe. And then we'll figure out where I'm going to put that special habitat and get things building. All right, let's unlock this recipe. Boom, cool. And what does it take to build this baby? Oh man, easy peasy. Let's go grab everything we need and then go we'll put it down. Here I am at the big lake. And normally I would never build here again because I always do. But I feel like this is a good spot to do something I've not done before out here. Interesting, you'll let me do that now. Oh, you wanted to before. See? Uh, uh. I don't know. Anyway, stop messing around. Come up. And boom. And boom. Oh, man. I took my finger off the control. Let's get this out here. Out here like this. 
And there. Now, I'll tell you why I want to build it like this. Because at some point, well, you didn't take long, we get the T2 aquarium, which looks like a big giant ball that sits in the water. And if I put that here, we can send one out that way, one out that way, one out that way. So let's take this baby and put it there. Oh, I don't want to put it. Oh, is it going to be a pain? Mm. All right. Tell you what, can I make one of those? Ugh. Let me run back and grab a titanium. That might help me link it better. Okay. Conveniently, there was one located nearby. So as you can see, if I put that there, now I can put a door on there. Oh, titanium. So look at Okay, door. Then take this guy, park it there. Next, Oop, not flashlight, deconstruct that and that. That should allow this to sit just perfectly. Look at that. Pain in the neck, but I did it. So now we can put our door back on. Boom. And look at that. It looks nice and pretty. And look at this. Okay. So the object is we're going to put one of the domes out that way, one of the domes out that way, and one of the domes out that way. And it's going to be magical. Now, in order to do that, we kind of need to put these guys down here. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that. And maybe we'll put one here. You know what? In the meantime, I'm going to stick them in each one of these corners. There you go. Three of them. And then we'll be able to, that'll house the, what I'm putting down, you know, just so it doesn't look odd that the, there's no glass. Okay, cool. Let me get started on gathering all the things I need to do that. Um, maybe I can put some more of these foundations down too, because it looks a bit weird just sitting there like this, doesn't it? I'm not going to go crazy like I usually do, but... I'm going to do my best of just getting things done. And do you know how hard it is to build and talk at the same time? No, you don't. But maybe you do. I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, oh. I keep hitting F. You know why I hit F? Satisfactory F delete. Ugh. It's a great game, by the way. Okay, done. Uh, I know. I know. Don't talk about that. But... There you go. So now we can go all the way. Oops. Go all the way around. I know. Don't talk about that. I need at least four. Oh, I'm going to die of thirst. Uh, let me see if I can get some more iron. Fill those in and get myself three aquariums. Well, you know what? I also need to put railings around that. Okay, here we are with everything I need to build. Let's not that one. Let's get this baby and see. Can we shove it in there? Can we show it? Can we? Can... Oh, game. You hate me. All right. It's fine. It's fine. It still looks great. It looks, looks amazing and wonderful. Doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'll just have to cope with the imperfections. Okay. Come on. Uh, come on. Is that? All right. There you go. So now we've got a fish aquarium room. That actually looks pretty cool. Maybe we can put some lights in there or something. Yeah, make it a little bit color. Oh, you know what? We could probably put some lights on the outside and brighten it up a bit. Like I did on that starter home. Hmm. Interesting, because we got these lights. Where are they? Area lamps. And you can change their color. So if we stick them right in the corner, they emit some cool lights. Problem is, once you set the light for one... All the area lights become the same color. That's okay. Right. Uh, let me go grab some iron. See if I can make some fish to put in here now. And get some lights. Okay, here we are. Have a look. I've managed to put rails around this. It looks just like that. I have managed to put in some lights. Glowy lights. Yellow. They'll be cool at night. I filled in the gaps all the way around so that way i can live with myself i also realized that i am not doing any generic ore retrieval with ore extractors got to set that up at some point as well because 
I'm running out of iron and eventually we won't find any iron in the ground. Now I've got all the eggs I need to start putting things in. There you go. Oh, I didn't realize you can do two. I forgot all about that. So I'm going to put one in each for now. Boom, 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 and boom. That means I got to make three more. I will do that in a but first things first, let's head out to our butterfly farm area. Oh, they're beautiful. And get things up and running on our new butterfly. Uh, what are they? Butterfly farms. Because we got to really push the boat out. Okay, butterfly farm people. Let's get a second one in here. Boom, like that. Let's shove this 1200 guy in there. Get more. Let's fly around to... The other side here and see if we can put one more in right there boom excellent and i think we only have an 800 yeah only but still pretty cool oh wow they're beautiful i love the pink ones great okay head back and make ourselves some more fishy fish okay we don't have enough phytoplankton to create any more of these ulani fish but I've got these two Provios fish eggs that came out of the life collector and I'll put those in. They're beautiful too. Look at that. I know they're the basic ones, but I'll tell you what, they're pretty. And that at least gets us up and running with as much as we can. We'll fill that in when we get more. Well, a few things have popped up. Look at this. We've got, wait, 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 wait for it. Nope. I, I got to show you. I can do it here. Come with me. Don't worry, it's a short travel. It's pretty cool. It's about time, but it's happened. That's right. We're going to fill in the gap. Boom, boom. Where is it? Where is it? T2. We need honey. Ugh, honey. Well, we can't do honey. Then you know what else we need is regular larva. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Common larva. Hmm. I don't think we can make those at the moment. That's okay. Doesn't matter. We filled in the gap. We should celebrate. Yay. Go us. Anyway, the other thing is we now have fish farms. That means we can stick fish in water. Let's get two of these. I don't know if I have enough silk. How much silk do we have? We have four. All right. We need, well, we could do one. Uh, let's go get some of the bioplankton and some chicken nuggets. Wait. We get chicken nuggets here, All right? We need two chicken. Oh man, look at all the chicken nuggets. One, two, three, four, because eventually we want all those. And let's go get the phyoplanktons that we need. Okay, we have phyoplanktons and we can put our fish, our fish farms out here. We'll put it real close. We can access it. Boom. Adds to our plants and our insects, which is good. And we can put a single fish thing in there. Now I can't do another one, even though I have everything, because I need two more silk. Let's get ourselves two more silk and then see what kind of fish we can make. I know we can put the generic ones in, but I'm running low on this here bioplankton sea. Oh, well, actually, I can make another one for in there. That's good. Let me go do that. Wow, look at that. This same recipe accidentally created us a 350 bayou fish egg. Pretty cool. Let's get down. Head over to our fish farm. I know I've made the ultimate lazy way of traveling, even though it's close. Now we can go inside. Put uh, our really cool ones in there. Oh, they're red. Take out the old generic ones and stick in one of those. Take out those provost ones and put in one of those. I am one silk away from adding another one. Let me go see if there are is any more silk right we've got what we need let's create another one of these babies right here fish farm boom and put that in there did we not put any in here we didn't put any in there boom and now we've got fish in the lake ultimately we should upgrade those to the best we can as well but in the meantime that will work for us all right i had to think about this here this guy uh, oh, not you. Uh, you. Your recipe calls for mutagen, common larva, and honey. And we have the 
mutagen. As you can see, I've got a ton of common larva in my pocket. We have no honey. And the reason why we have no honey is because, well, that's uh, big and uh, boomy. The reason why I have no honey is because I am making food out at my food place. And this thing is always so rude when I'm trying to record because I'm making food out there. However, if I set up a couple of lockers downstairs, I can move my food making here. And that means I can bring honey back here and the leftover honey can then be used to create the T2 mutagen. Right, so let's get started. First, let's, uh, bugs. Shove some bugs, hey, shove some bugs in there. All you guys go in there. Next, ooh, normacy, cool. Oh, that must mean I'm close to being able to make those bugs myself. Next, we need to make an auto crafter. Let's grab all the things we need for an auto crafter. Uh, boom, one, two, and head up here. And now we'll put in an auto crafter. Now our auto crafter will go right here. And what will we be making here? We are making food, 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 and food. Okay, we've got nothing to do that with. We need another locker to put in the... Oh man, I'm running out of space, but I think I can line it up this way. So we need to put honey and beans in. So let's uh, grab one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, if I put one here, like so, so look at that. We can uh, be very efficient. One there and one there. We can put beans right here and we can demand beans please uh beans Ooh, it'd be easier if i had a little thing that just allowed me to filter okay i can't see it why can't i see it i know what it looks like but i can't see it it's got there it is beans okay done you will get the beans and you will get the honey all right let's go here let's demand some honey should be that guy boom okay now let's head out Ooh, does that mean stuff is going in here already no let's uh go out this way and get some water so we don't die of course always help always good situation go over to our farm food farm which is now no longer going to be a food farm take our beans and boom 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 and boom take out the seeds deconstruct you sorry pal and head back nope just a butterfly i mean a bee okay head inside here grab oh man they're beautiful right tell this guy don't make any more food take all the food deconstruct you and let's head back over to the main base Oh, no. Uh, that's what happens when you click too fast. Okay, home. Great. Now, let's go upstairs and have a look. And, right, beans. Put all the beans in there. Boom. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't put anything in there yet. Um, uh, good. I don't want it crafting stuff when I don't need to. And the honey. Oh, I forgot to set the honey to come back here Grr. okay that's no big deal uh oh why did i deconstruct that farm i didn't need to idiot that's okay well you know what that gives me a good excuse to run back over there and to set it up so my beehives are giving off honey so where are my beehives here we go so i want you to supply yeah just supply everything that's fine Go around to the oh wait you know what while i'm here let's put the bean farm back in place uh because it does not need to be in and in reach of anything let's put beans in there boom and supply everything boom i don't know if you need to but it's done and go to the other side find this little beehive thingy bobber here supply everything boom Good. 
Now, let's run back over home and see. Well, you know what? Why don't I just take the two? I'll just take it with. Oh, sorry. I just saw that. A drone was coming to collect it. Aw, he's probably going to be really mad at me because he had a job to do. Look, he's coming to get it. I'll let you do that, pal. Don't you worry. We need the next level up of beehives or we create some more and then we can get lots of that kind of mutagen let's go up here over to here and where's the honey there's the honey boom and now are we getting any of these guys look at that it's working okay so it created one as soon as another one pops into that thing we should see Two of them. Let's go down and take a look. Is it on its way? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Honey. Um. Oh, no, it's taking a while, but you know what I mean. It should be all right. Okay. Well, woo, that is good. Wait, you know what? One last thing before we finish. I need to set up to pull back some iron uh, and titanium and all that stuff because it's going to be important which means i need wow it's like this thing game is purposely throwing meteors at me why is that that one sounds different is that a different one or is that just one of the normal ones where is it where is it oh no that one's a good one i like that one let's go chase that one down wow splash right in the middle of the water cool that should be Pulsar Quartz things. Let's get down here and find out. Where are you? Look. Oh, oh. Why are you not giving me what I want? Where? Ugh. Swimming. So, okay, good. And good. Oh, yeah. We'll take all these babies because... Oh, I'm trapped. Because it's always good to have... You can never have too many Pulsar Quartzes. And... Right. Are you coming? You're uncommon. Anyway, I'll wait for all this junk to go away and then I'll collect the rest and we'll see how many pulsar courses we have. In the meantime, let's get some more extractors. Now, I think I've already set up two. Where did I set those up? Hmm. Oh, that's right. I set them up out there. But I don't have a teleporter out there, do I? So, to tell you what, we will put a teleporter up there because if we want to set up more we can let's get everything we need i had the two pulsar quarters i've got oh i've got oh i have a zeolite i've got osmium and obsidian and that's everything cool so i've got everything to make a teleporter now what i need to do is boom uh, I need to make an ore extractor. The I know I am pulling back iron. I am pulling back titanium. I think it's titanium. If not, we will set it. Maybe I'm not. Uh, are we pulling back? Okay, so I must have had ore and silicon being made. We need a titanium being made. Um, I'm going to pull back everything. Each one of these easy guys for now. Whoop. whoop. Oh, did I do that? I did not. Um, pull it back right there until it's all set. All right, good. And now I need to make at least one ore extractor. I want to make probably two. So let's get oh, one, uh, two. Means I need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get a couple of iridium rods. One, two. And a couple of osmium rods, which are here. One, two. Okay, now let's go and fly our way out, all the way out there, and leave a teleporter out there. So if we want to do it again, that won't be a problem. Okay, here we are. As you can see, I've got iron. Oh, so loud. And silicon being made. Let's put down another one. Like so. Can you link? Yes. Good. And can you link? Yes. Okay. We need titanium, please. Boom. Supply all. Might as well. And 
what else are we doing? We're doing, um, um, let's see, we've got that. Ooh, we do need sulfur. I think I'm already pulling back sulfur. We're doing that. We're doing that. We're doing that. Which one do we need out of these? I'm going to pull that back just in case. And if we need more, we can do that. In the meantime, are you coming? Are you coming? All right. I'm going to put my little teleporter right here. Boom. Label this as mining. Boom. And then anytime I need to come out here and do stuff and things, I can. All right, cool. Are you coming? Wow, are you coming? Rare. I don't want rare. Look at that. We got three. We're getting there. Once that, uh, all that, um, well, not the beans. The beans are good. Once the honey keeps filling up, we'll be fine. Ooh, that reminds us. Reminds us. Who am I speaking to? Reminds me that there were pulsar quartzes down here. Now we already collected two. Let's ready, set, dive. Boom. Ooh, look at that. One's floating in the air. I like it. Okay, are there any more? Ooh, more floating in the air. Floating in the air. This is underwater, pal. Okay, good. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome. Ah, coming. I think that looks like it's all that's out here. That's good enough. I mean, I got so many of these things. It's cool. Don't mean to brag. But how did we, how many did we get? Let's have a look. And we've got, oh, look at that. So five, eight, plus the two, that ten just from that. Totally worth it. Are you coming? Remember when I said I'm definitely going to make a portal generator in this video? Oh, that's the other thing we got to do. We've now got a portal generator. I don't remember it requiring an energy multiplier fuse. However, we have them. Pretty cool. So we'll be able to do that. And that means we are going to start exploring some of the procedural wrecks. Right? So that is definitely something we're going to do today. What I actually meant by that was we are definitely not going to be able to make that in this video. Uh, once again, I tried to do too much in one go. And I had no room for it, but that's okay because we got a lot of stuff done. We continued our automation theme. We've got fish. We've got frogs. We've got food. We've got all the mutagens and we got some basic ores set up. So we did do a lot. We can also spend the entire video just exploring all the wrecks, procedural wrecks in the next video. It'll be great. There's tons of things to do. Never a shortage of that. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you had a good time. I had a great time as always. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. Leave me a comment or leave a like. And as always, feel free to subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you.